in this video what we're going to do is we're going to look at how to work with our recipes in the uh, pasta perfection assignment. And uh, the two main things we need to do is we need to first of all take our original recipe, which in this case serves four, and downscale it so that it serves only one person. And then the second thing we're going to do is we're going to take that one serving and we are going to upscale it so it serves a certain number of people. In this case, let's just say it's going to serve um, maybe 20 people. All right. Remember, the idea being that you need to figure out how much of each ingredient you need if 20 people were to come into your restaurant and order um, this particular dish, which in this case is the spaghetti carbonara. So the first thing we need to think about is when we are downscaling something, taking something that originally serves four and changing it so it serves one, which math operation would we use? And in this case, I think uh, in class, most people were able to identify that this is a division problem. And really what we're doing is we are dividing by four. And the reason we're dividing by four is because the original recipe serves four people. If your original recipe served six or eight or, or whatever, this number would be different. So let's just do that calculation really quickly. Um, one divided by four. Now, you can probably do that pretty quickly in your head, but let's just remember our, uh, our division rule, which another way to think of this is that it's one multiplied by the reciprocal of four which is one quarter. And remember the reciprocal is um, the numerator and denominator flipped or in this case the a number multiplied by its reciprocal will equal one and one times one fourth is in fact one quarter. So we divide it by four and one person would need one quarter tablespoon. We can do the same thing with the uh, with the bacon here and I'll do that slightly different color do this one in uh, in pink. So I have seven eighths, and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to divide by four to find out how much bacon I would need for one person. So it's the same process here: seven eighths divided by four, or that's equal to seven eighths times right division turns to multiplication, and the reciprocal of four is one fourth. Top times top. 7, bottom times bottom, 32. And so we would need 7 over 32 cups of bacon to serve one person in the spaghetti carbonara recipe. So that's the downscaling. To, to do the upscaling, we need now to figure out, okay, well, how much do I need to serve 20 people? So if I have a quarter tablespoon for one person and I need to serve 20, well, I need 20 times that amount. So that kind of gives us a pretty good indication of our operation. We're going to multiply by 20. So let's, uh, let's do that. One quarter is for one person, and I'm going to multiply that by 20. Now, remember that really this is kind of like saying 20 over 1 and we can look for opportunities to do some cross-canceling. So I'm going to look to simplify. Remember, all cross-canceling is a simplifying. I'm going to simplify the 4 to a 1 and the 20 to a 5 because 20 and 4 have a common factor of 4. So I've, just, I've kind of just simplified at the beginning. And so using the same multiplication technique, 1 times 5 is 5, 1 times 1 is 1, so really, this is 5, or I would need 5 tablespoons, TBSP I believe is the short form, 5 tablespoons for 20 people. Now some of you may have noticed that there's a slightly different way to do this, and, and we'll, we'll tackle the next one that way. Um, in this case here, and this, this came up earlier, 20 is a multiple of 4. So instead of upscaling the downscaled recipe, I can actually just upscale the original recipe. So I'm going to jump from the 7 eighths all the way to the upscaled recipe. Now this only works well or only works easily if your upscaled 
recipe is a multiple of the original recipe. And so I know that 4 times 5 is equal to 20. So I'm just going to, instead of using the downscale in this case, I'm just going to use the, uh, the original recipe from, to find the bacon. So I have 7 eighths times 5 over 1. Uh, 7 and 1 have no common factors, so there's no cross-canceling there. And 8 and 5 have no common factors, so no cross-canceling there. So now I'll put these together. 7 times 5 is 35, and 8 times 1 is 8. Now, we've been saying that improper fractions and mixed numbers are, are equally acceptable um, thus far. But in cooking, we don't really see improper fractions very often the sort of the norm is to use a mixed number. So I'm going to change 35 over 8 even though it's simplified into a mixed number. So 8 goes into 35 four times with a remainder of 3 and then that's eighths. So 4 and 3 eighths. So I would require 4 and 3 eighths cups of bacon if I were to make spaghetti carbonara for 20 people. And so this is the process that you can use to do the downscaling and the upscaling of your recipes for the pasta perfection assignment.